Hey guys, this is Ron Moore, and it's time to play Shadowgate for the NES. I have been waiting to do this LP for a very long time. Shadowgate is a very underrated RPG in my opinion, and this is pretty much the only RPG I've ever cared about. I remember writing to Nintendo for a long time, asking them when I was a kid, because I wasn't allowed to call the Gameplay Counselor's Hotline or whatever back then, even though I did a few times and I almost got in trouble for it. Um, I remember writing to N Nintendo a lot because I needed help in this game a lot. This game was very hard to me when I was a kid, um, but once you beat it, it's easy. It's all about memorization. And for the f uh, to get the fullness of this LP, I am going to do what is requested by Gunstar Hero 21 and die on purpose a lot in this game to show you all the various deaths in this game. There's a lot of ways to die in this game. And so yeah, I really do love this game. Brings back a lot of great memories already just to hear this music. Alright, so let's go ahead and get started here. And right here you start out in the front of uh, Castle Shadowgate. Uh, some more awesome music right here. I used to kind of hate this game when I was a kid because it was too hard and RPGs is not my kind of game to play. But this game grew on me and I loved it. This, this is a real awesome game. The dreaded warlock lord will use his black magic. A black magic woman to raise the behemoth from the dark depths. 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 The combination of his evil arts and the great titan's power will surely destroy us all! Destroy us all! You are the last of the line of kings, the seed of prophecy that was foretold, foretold eons ago. Dang, I had to mess up the narration by stuttering. Only you can stop, only you can prevent forest fires and the evil one from darkening our world forever! Fare thee well. Gritting your teeth, you swear by your god's name that you will destroy the Warlock Lord! Alright. So, let's open the skull here and get this key. You will need it inside the castle. You do not need this key to open this door right here. The key one is in hand. Now you might think, if you haven't played this game and you're not ready to RPGs, you're looking at this game right now and thinking, this game looks boring, this game looks lame. Don't judge a book by its cover. Don't even judge this game by watching this LP. Play it yourself and give it a chance. Even if you're not an RPG fan. You know, give it time, be patient with it. You know, you might be hooked onto this game. It's, it's real fun, there's a lot of fun ways of dying. The sound of ma manico maniacal laughter echoes in your ears. torches in hand. Yes, take every single freaking torch that you come across. You are going to need all the torches because if your torch goes out, you die. Now, you don't have to do this, but I just want to do this for fun. Just burn the rug to see what happens. The rug quickly catches on fire and burns away. That's it. <laughs> now, there's no point in doing that. Just to do it just for the lulls, I guess. Okay, now that's the door that's locked and you need to use key one to open it. What do you want to use this on? Click! The key worked! And I locked the door! Is that the yell? I mean, man, all I did was open the door. It's not a secret passage or anything. The stone walls seem uncomfortably close as you walk down the stairs. The, the, nar the narration in this game just creeped me out. The way you read it, it just makes you scared, you know? So this game just scared me when I was a kid. Take these torches and... Now... You notice that part of the wall right there is a different color than the rest of the wall. So, guess what that indicates? Yep, a secret passage, and you can open it. The stone falls away to reveal a secret passage. Or PASSAGE! As it says, the two exclamation marks. Alright, let's look at this book. It's an ancient tome. It seems that no one has disturbed its pages for centuries. Well, I'm going to disturb it now. What are they going to do, huh? Who's going to do something? Oh, oh. Okay, when you remove the book from its pedestal, the floor collapses and you fall to your death. It's a sad thing that your adventures have ended here! And this part of the game, the music and that image right there really creeped me out when I was a kid. 
this game can be, can be very creepy. So yeah, there you go. I died already. This is one of the many ways to die in this game. That's one. That's one of the things that makes this game fun. All right. Start back in this room again. This time, do not take the book. Only the torches. Oh, uh, aim it right there. Oh, that's what I hate about this game. Uh, just you gotta aim your hand right, you know, when you wanna do a certain action. Okay, now you can open the book. A rectangular hole has been cut out of the inside of the book. You can open it, and now we're looking at the inside of the book. And key two is in there. Take key two. Now, yeah. So you don't take the book. You can open it though, and take what's inside of it. Just don't remove the book from the actual pedestal. You know. Um, okay, now we're back in this room again, and we're going to use key 2 to open up that closet right there. What do you want to use this on? What do you think, you idiot? Click the keyword again! Get out the door! Now we're inside the closet. Oh! As you enter, you can see a sword and a sling inside. What did they say? Oh! Four! <laughs> Come on! The sling was taken. The sword is in hand. Alright, so let's get out of here. And now let's go through that secret passage. Ugh. Yeah, see, you gotta point it exactly, you gotta be precise. As soon as you enter the room, you see an arrow on the front wall. The arrow is in hand. What? I want to take the torch. Oh, uh, you can't because they're not torches, I guess. I don't know what the heck those things are. The ledge wasn't strong enough to hold you. You fall to the ground and land hard on your rump. Now, you thought I was going to die there, right? I, I thought so too at first, but nope. Okay, now that music indicates that my torch is going out, so I need to light a new one, and I hate that song. That's probably the only song I hate in this game. It's freaking annoying. Okay, let's go back in here. And let's go in this direction now. The stones in these walls were probably cut by the hands of enslaved mountain dwarves. Let's go to the left door first. You enter a cold room. The stench of flesh and decay pervades the small chamber. You begin to shiver. This room is cold. Uh, uh, this room is really cold. This room is cold, Cuddy. All right, let's take the torches again. Let's look at this thing. Yeah, if, if this is your first time playing this game, look at everything. A skip will tell you. Look at everything here. But don't take everything, because taking certain things can cause you to die. All right, let's go down this trap door here. Oh man, what happened? A broken fragment of the wooden ladder hangs from the opening. I wish you would have told me that before I proceed to go down there. As you go down the trapdoor, you realize you took a big step. The fall is quite fatal. So yeah, this game is very tricky and very slick. You gotta be very careful. Love the music in this game. I know this is not the only music in this game. There's more coming up later. Alright. Let's go through this door now. The door is open. Fear grips you as you enter this hot room. Well, yeah, fear would grip me too if I saw those eyes staring at me back there. The torch is in hand. Uh oh. <sighs> Whoosh! Flames suddenly shoot from the dragon's mouth. Dragon flame engulfs your body. You pay for your curiosity with your life. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and stop right here. I will see you guys in part two. God bless and take care.